Hey guys, welcome back to the common YouTube channel. Today we are going to mine Duino coins using this Raspberry Pi board. So this is a Raspberry Pi 4 with 2GB of RAM and I have the heat sinks attached to the main processor and the USB controller chip. Now it's always advisable to use these heat sinks especially if you are mining because the temperature would shoot up and to make sure you don't burn anything always have some sort of cooling system like a heatsink or a fan. Now moving on, it has a USB type C port for power supply and I have a 32GB micro SD card installed with the Raspbian OS in it. So that's it for the intro, let's get started with the mining process. To start off with, if you don't have the Raspbian or the Raspberry Pi OS as they call it now installed in your SD card. Then this is a quick guide for the installation process and how to establish a headless or a wireless connection from your Raspberry Pi to your PC. So head over to raspberrypi.org software, scroll down and you can download the Raspberry Pi Imager version from here depending upon your OS. Now once you download and install the Raspberry Pi Imager, it should open to something like this. Now connect your SD card to your PC through your SD card reader. And you can choose the operating system from here. Go for the 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. And now to set up a headless connection in this new version is pretty simple. You just have to enable few options and you don't have to copy paste codes or create an SSH file like our previous version. So what you have to do is in your keyboard, press down the keys Ctrl plus Shift plus X and that should open up the advanced option settings. To start off with, you have to enable the set hostname checkbox and you can enter a desired hostname for your Raspberry Pi board. I would give as rasp01. And then you have to enable the enable SSH checkbox and you can enter the password for your Raspberry Pi board here. After you're done with that, scroll down and then you have to enable the configure Wi-Fi checkbox. Now the SSID and the password that you see here is the Wi-Fi network to which your PC is currently connected to. And that would be the same Wi-Fi network to which your Raspberry Pi board would also be connected to. After you're done with that, choose the country code based on where you live from here and scroll further down and as the last thing you have to do is to enable the set local settings. So that's all the settings that you have to enable. You can click on save and then you can move on to choose the storage to which you want your Raspberry Pi OS to be installed to. And then you can click on write and that should install the Raspberry Pi OS to your SD card. After you're done with the installation, you can close this and right now I have connected my Raspberry Pi board to the power supply and it should take few minutes for it to get connected to my Wi-Fi network. Now if you need to do in a coin, set up your Duino coin web wallet from here and then head back to home page, click on get started and under the table of contents click on your mine with Raspberry Pi board. And then there are few commands that you have to enter in your command prompt window and they are listed here. So let's open up our command prompt window and start by establishing a headless connection with our Raspberry Pi board. So to establish the headless connection, type in the command ssh space pi at enter the name of your Raspberry Pi board. In my case, it's rasp01 hit enter and then you have to enter the password you set for your Raspberry Pi board. Let me enter mine. Hit enter once again after you type in your password and you have successfully connected your Raspberry Pi board to your PC. Now let me just split screen this and then there are these commands that you have to enter into your command prompt window. So let's copy this, paste it here, hit enter and this installs the python3 and python3 pip. I have already installed them but if you don't have then this installation process should take some time. And after that we have to clone the github repository. So let's copy this command and paste it here. Hit enter and I have already copied the GitHub repository into mine. So now let's cd into Duino coin. 
and then type python3 space pc underscore minor dot by hit enter and then they would ask you a few details like entering your duna coin username so let me enter mine then set mining intensity from 1 to 100 percent and the recommended is 95 so i'll go with 95 hit enter and set mining threads for recommended for my system is 4 so i'm going with 4 then they would ask you to set difficulty level since i'm using a raspberry pi i'll set my difficulty level at 1 hit enter and then they would ask do you want to add a rig identifier name i'll be adding one so i'm going with y for yes and i'll give my name as rasp01 hit enter once again and then you have to set a donation level from 0 to 5 the recommended is 1 so i'm going with 1 as well hit enter and that's all that you have to do your mining with raspberry pi has started successfully and you can see here it has accepted shares at a rate of 122 or 220 kilo hashes per second now let's open up our duino coin web wallet let's head back to the home page and let's open up our web wallet and see if my raspberry pi board is listed there So we are in the Duino coin dashboard right now and you can see my Raspberry Pi board is listed under your miners and I have a combined hash rate of 0.5 mega hashes per second which is huge. And if I open up my command prompt window you can see that mining is taking place continuously without any issues. So that's all on about how you mine Duino coins using your Raspberry Pi board. Now one thing I noticed is that even though I have heat sinks attached to my Raspberry Pi board, it still heats up a lot. So maybe I should consider installing a cooling fan before I mine Duino coins with this board for an entire day. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on how much I mine and the status of my board in my upcoming videos. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If yes, please do leave a like and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you are new here, consider subscribing for more awesome mining content. See you guys in the next video. Happy mining.